In this lecture, we see the typical HTML document structure. A typical HTML structure includes two parts, the document declaration part, and then the HTML document part. The declaration part is used by the web browser to understand the version of the HTML used in the document. What it means is, if we are going to use HTML5 to develop the HTML document, then we need to declare it here. And below the declaration is the HTML document. We must know how to declare the document and the basic structure of the HTML document. To declare the HTML document, we use the doc type tag. Tag is nothing but the characters enclosed within angle brackets. If you see doc type, it is enclosed within the angle brackets. Therefore, we are calling it a doc type tag. As we previously mentioned, this tag defines the document type and HTML version. This syntax is case insensitive. For the time being, just remember doc type tag is used to define the HTML type and HTML version. The HTML tag encloses the complete HTML document. HTML5 elements are marked up using start tags and end tags. Tags are delimited using angle brackets with the tag name in between. The difference between start tags and end tags is that the end tag includes a slash before the tag name. As of now, you just need to remember the HTML tag encloses the complete HTML document. Next, we must know what HTML comprises. The HTML comprises of two parts the header part and the body part. The header part of the HTML document is enclosed within the start and end of the head tag. Similar to this, the body of the HTML document is enclosed within the start and end of the body tag. Any typical HTML structure will look like this, where you will have the declaration part and the document part where the document part is further divided into two parts, header and body. This is the structure that we are going to use throughout the course. This is all about HTML basic structure.